Right guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm actually really enjoying this. This is um this is something new, something fun. I mean, I've like I've said previously, you know, I have watched a, a, a bit of NBA. My mate Tim is a fucking sports nut. You think I'm all about sports. My mate Tim knows everything. EPL, fucking golf, NBA. He even knows shit about NFL, rugby, like I said, soccer, EPL, he's he's a huge sports fan and um, he knows a lot more than I'll ever do. I tried to get him on a podcast, but he just doesn't want a bar of it. He doesn't want anything to do with, with YouTube, none of this shit. So it's probably it's probably best that I don't bring him on because I'd just be absolutely shown up in pretty much every aspect. But either way, guys, we're looking at Oscar Robertson, number 13 on the top 30 NBA players of all time. Oscar Robertson. And I'm assuming by the looks of the photo... <laughs> I mean, the, the refs are wearing fucking pants. The refs are wearing long trousers. That's something else. All right, guys. I'm assuming he played in the 60s. But all of that and more will be revealed. Let's have a look at his blurb before we get into the video. Holy shit, it's, it's long. Strap in, guys. Get your popcorn. While we can argue all day and night about the value of the triple-double in today's positionless game. Positionless game. Positionless? Does that mean every player can play all positions? I'm assuming that's what that means. When I think of triple-double, I think of Russell Westbrook. But when Oscar Robertson became the first player in NBA history to average a triple-double over a season, it was nothing short of monumental. Point guards weren't supposed to be six foot five scoring machines that could get a bucket from anywhere on the court like the Big O could. The Big O. Big Oscar Robertson. Six five point guard. That's... Sizable. Nor were they expected to rip down double-digit boards on a nightly basis, but Robertson broke the mould almost 20 years before Magic Johnson made his debut. He, he almost averaged a triple-double his rookie season before his iconic campaign during the 61-62 season when he was good for 30.8 points per game, 12.5 rebounds per game, and 11.4 average uh, assists per game per night. We all know Russell Westbrook. Shit. I do, actually. LeBron James. I know him, too. And at least a handful of other stars can mess around and get a triple-double practically whenever they want. You know, as much as I hate to believe, that's actually probably true. Whenever they want, doesn't matter. LeBron James can score. He's obviously going to score over 10 points. If he wants rebounds, I mean, he can stand in the paint more than normal and get 10-plus rebounds. If he wants 10-plus assists, I mean, he can drive to the basket and flick it out to some other cunt who can, um, you know, jeez, I guess that does, yeah, I guess that's probably true, they can do it whenever they want, either way, but only Westbrook has put up the seasonal averages, three times in fact, to match Robertson's brilliance, and Russ isn't anywhere near the offensive juggernaut Robertson was, the big O was a nightmare matchup because he scored in ways few were able to figure out, and this is in the early 60s guys, the 1964 NBA MVP, the 1961 Rookie of the Year, a 12-time All-Star, an 11-time All-NBA selection, NBA 75. I can keep going. But I won't. His college career is practically unmatched. But since we're talking professional basketball here, know that he was the only player other than Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell to win an MVP between 1960 and 68. Holy shit, well that's the big three, isn't it? He also played a huge role in the NBA instituting free agency when he brought a lawsuit against the league in 1970 that challenged the legality of the league's proposed merger with the ABA, the merits of the draft, and the reserve clause that prevented players from pursuing contracts with any team they wished. Okay, so he's a man of the people. He's a man of the people. I've forgotten his name. I'm really sorry, guys. These, you know, it's it's these first moments when you um, come across a name, come across a player, put a face to the name, uh, that you can forget them relatively quickly. All right, Oscar Robertson highlights. Here we go. Are we going to see some colour? Apparently we will. Until I'm impressed, let's go. Actually, sorry, I got to go back. What, what was his height? Six, six five, six five, averaging a triple double. I. Sometimes the draft is not very kind to certain basketball players because they'll put you with a team and they want you to win. Oscar knew he had to work harder because Cincinnati was not. 
Isn't that a baseball team? Not a big team, as NBA teams go. No. When you go out and you average 31 points, 12 rebounds, 11 assists, but not, and you don't win, what else can you do? Not much. The man who has to be the best all-around player in the game. Have a look at this footage. This must be remastered. It has to be. Have a look at it. This is as smooth as, as silk. Oscar Robertson. A maestro of basketball. Oscar Robertson of the Cincinnati Royals. As good and all around. Oh, a bit of a baseline move. Nice, shooter, nice. I like it. Anyone who ever oh, yeah. steps on a basketball floor, the big girl possesses unusual cleverness and. Well, defense. if he had to slam that down like Dr. J, you know this this video would be completely over. But he didn't. Another player. So he and likes the uh, the Robertson finger again. finger roll. Is that what they call it? Oh yeah, bit of a In big range goes. jumper. Siegfried. Straight up the middle. By Oscar, and Oscar takes the ball away. Oh, what are we going to see here? Oscar moving down. He feeds Hawkins, and Hawkins dumps it. Around have a look at this footage. Robertson. That's insane. How have they done this? Don's shot rims the basket, and Robinson rebounds for the East. Another super fast break. Sam Jones and the big O. Super fast. Super fast. Robertson. Havlicek. I guess I need to see... When am I going to be impressed? I'm not quite sure. Robertson controlling it. Look at that lead pass to Denry. Assist. Another assist. Four or five eyes. Oh, he's an assist machine. Never look at that. Jesus. Winner of the league's playmaking title for the fourth time last season. He still managed to be third. Oh, the hustle. Look at him. Knocked away by Robertson. He's an absolute hustler. Basket count. Baylor fouls him. Always looking for the assist. That's Robertson passing along to Boston's Bill Russell. And he scored 30 of his own points per game. Oh, mate. Robertson, long to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think that's, that's, no, that's where we, that's where. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a Dr. J fucking sky hook from the free throw line. But it's from his own free throw line and it's for an assist. So, look. We're going to call it quits here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.